Hello, my name is Robin Holiday and I'm the owner and curator of Horse Spirit Arts Gallery. Today I have with me gallery artist Molly Sims. Welcome, Molly. Hi, it's so great to be here. Thank you for coming. Guys, we have news for you today. Um, Molly is making a life change and um, why don't we start with that? Molly, tell us what's happening here. This is true. I am moving to the West Coast to Spokane, Washington on Monday the 29th, so just a few days left here. And um, the reason that I'm doing that, I'm so sorry, <laughs> is that I have a lot of family over there and my daughter is now going to college over there. And I just thought it would be really nice to live near my family again. I am genuinely happy for you. It's just, it's um, hard that you're leaving. So um, that's what that face was for. <laughs> it is definitely bittersweet. I have lots of friends and family, including Robin, that I'm going to miss so much. Um, you've been with the gallery for four years, so you've been with us through a flood and our move out to Savage Mill, and so um, and now a pandemic. And so um, it, we've just been through a lot together. And so I'll just cut to the chase. Even though Molly is moving across the country. I'm gonna to continue to represent her. I know I'm breaking my own rule. Um, I only represent local artists, but these are extenuating circumstances and an extenuating you know, time, and so I can't let her go. So Molly's gonna ship me a box of paintings, and as soon as they get here, I'm gonna share them with you. So speaking of paintings, um, Molly's gonna talk about five of her paintings that are currently in the gallery. Um, so the first thing is Molly is a realistic wildlife painter, as you know, and so Molly, how about share with everybody why you paint wildlife? Okay, Robin, well, I grew up in the Northwest. I grew up in um, Spokane, Washington, and also um, camping, hiking, fishing around Montana, Idaho area. Uh, my dad was an avid fly fisherman, and so I used to go out with him a lot fishing and just spending lots of time outdoors. Um, I grew a deep passion and love for nature and for wildlife. So it came from your family and you just enjoyed it yourself. Yes. That's wonderful. Um, so we're going to start with your very first painting and we're going to bring that up and it's called Masked Wolf. So tell us about this painting. All right. Well, I definitely love wolves. I have a soft spot for them. I feel that this animal is um, a beautiful creature that's so necessary for our ecosystem and for our environment, but they are often misunderstood. So I like to portray them um, different ways so that people can see, you know, different sides to them. He's got a, a very um, intent gaze and stare, and I love the colors of his fur, and I wanted to capture that. He also has a distinct gray area around his eyes, so I thought Masked Wolf was a very fitting title. It, it's a great title. It's a beautifully executed painting. Um, you have painted several um, wolves for the gallery, four others that I can think of, and um, they're all just beautiful, and, and most of them live in other collections. Um, you have one other wolf painting in the gallery, and this is called Kisses for Mom. So as we pull this painting up, one thing I've noticed about you is that you will paint um, a mother child and you will paint baby siblings. And um, tell us about that. What's that mean to you? Yes, I wanted to show these wolves. Um, I wanted to show a different side to them. So they have a very tender and loving side. They're very, they're sternly um, and passionately committed to their families. Um, and this mother is just loving her little pup there. Um, but yet she's got these like really intent gazing yellow eyes. So, you know, there's a little side of danger to her as well. Um, definitely to be respected. Um, and yeah, I just really enjoyed painting this, this kisses for mom. I wonder if um, you have two children yourselves, right? Yes. And how old are they? So Bethany is 22 and Ethan is 19. So I just had to wonder when I've seen your paintings is if this is your maternal instinct coming out as you paint these mother and child and, and siblings and things. They're just so endearing. Well, I think all mothers, wolves, bears, 
you know, people, we all just love our children to death and they mean the world to us. Um, and this is what I'm showing here, just this relationship between these two. Um, oftentimes wolves are just portrayed as, you know, kind of evil and vicious and, you know, they're going to kill you. And But really they have this beautiful, sweet and tender side. Um, well, it definitely shows through in your paintings. Thank you. So the next one um, that we're going to talk about is called Eastern Bluebird. And you just started doing these for the gallery. And when you approached me, you called it a sketch. So tell me about this and what do you mean by that? Right. Well, um, so I've still done the bird fairly detailed, um, but the background is a little more sketchy. And so I haven't painted in every single branch or, you know, um, all the details that you might see in the background normally. I just added some colors and, and um, just, you know, you can kind of see the brush strokes and it has this loose movement to it, which is nice. They're a lot of fun to paint. <laughs> and um, that's what I wanted to portray here. This little bird is actually from my backyard. Um, my house right now where we live is just backed up to a little foresty area. So we get lots of wildlife uh, and a variety of birds and woodpeckers. So this little guy, I was able to capture him in my camera, of course, and then do a nice painting of him. So you paint from photographs that you take? Yes, yeah. Well, you have done a lot of bird paintings for the gallery, and I really can't keep them in the gallery. They sort of fly out of here very quickly. People really love your birds. Thank you. Yes, they do seem to be popular, the birds. They do. Um, okay, here is another bird painting. This is one of my favorites that Molly has ever done. It's called Homeward Bound. It's a calming painting. And Molly, what can you tell us about this? Well, I wanted to paint a flock of egrets. And so I had several photos to work from. I had to take these photos and, you know, kind of put them all together in a composition, change the lighting on some of it. And um, this is what I came up with. I wanted it to feel like they were a part of their environment. They're a part of nature. So they have, it has a lot of the same colors um, on the birds as well as in the background. And it's supposed to be a real calm, peaceful feeling. It was a day at the beach. And to me, that's how I feel when I'm at the beach. So. Yeah. But th th these are just lovely. They're just lovely. Thank you. Well, the last painting that we're going to talk about is one of your newer paintings. The detail is really incredible. Um, and this is called Nestled in the Rafters. Right. So this is a barn owl. And when I saw him, uh, his piercing eyes were just so beautiful. I wanted to capture him, of course, in a painting that would last longer. And so that's what I set out to do. I also love the thought that this little guy is nestled in a barn somewhere, um, you know, looking after his nest and his family. And what a, what a miracle and how beautiful he is um, and how these beautiful miracles are happening all around us if we take the time to look and, you know, see them. When we take the time to spend time in nature and observe wildlife. So I hope to connect my viewer to wildlife as well. Well, he has a little heart around his face. He's so cute, isn't he? <laughs> and this is very typical in, um, you know, of a barn owl. They look this way. So he's really just beautiful. I want to pet him. One thing about wildlife is there is so much in nature and wildlife. I'm never going to run out of inspiration <laughs> yeah. or subjects to paint so it's beautiful Thank well, you. you know I, i'm just going to brag on you for a second are you ready can you take it all right go on okay then. <laughs> here we go so molly graduated with honors in graphic design and illustration from spokane falls community college in spokane washington molly where are you moving to Spokane, Washington. Oh, there we go. There we go. Wow. Um, <laughs> she has more recently studied with Hans Guren. Is that how I say his name? Hans Guren. Thank yeah. you. At the Schuller, Schuller School of Fine Art. And um, wow, I can really tell over the last four years that your paintings have become 
more detailed, more endearing, the eyes, the, you know, you have really upped your game, girl. Thank you. Um, it's really important to me to always be improving my skills and always be challenging myself. I think as an artist, you need to do that. You need to always be growing or, you know, sometimes your work can get stagnant. So if we're always growing and challenging ourselves, it's fresh, it's new, and it's exciting. Studying at the School of um, Fine Art, the Schuller School, was great. Um, getting those classical skills just really helps, you know, it helps to improve your painting and gives you the ability to do whatever you want to do, which is wonderful. That's wonderful. Well, let you and I talk for just a minute without a painting. Um, I'm also going to tell everybody that you are a member of Oil Painters of America and the International Guild of Realism, which is a big deal. And you got recently in accepted into their spring online show. So that's also a big deal. Yeah, I was very excited Yay. about that. <laughs> um, you've been teaching since 2004. You're in several galleries across the country and your art patrons are across the country because I have shipped one of your paintings to New York before. So I know people love you in lots of different places. Yeah, I'm just really thankful um, to to be able to have done the things that I've done and get to do something that I absolutely love and share it with people. So, well, I, when are you moving? I'm moving Monday. <laughs> As in like a few yeah. days from now. Yeah. yeah. So, um, we're definitely going to miss you, but we're all going to stay in touch with you. And, um, before we bring this to a close, what would you like to say to everybody, everybody, and Horse Spirits, who follows you, what would you like them to know? Well, just that I have appreciated so much um, that you would take the time to appreciate the art, whether it be my art or other people's art here at this beautiful gallery. And, you know, for those that purchased it, it's always an honor and um, such a compliment for somebody to like your artwork so much that they would put it in their home. So I thank you so much for that. And also, just being a part of this gallery has been an incredible blessing. Um, Robin and Max are fantastic. Um, I'm going to miss coming in here. I definitely have to come back and visit. Um, just being in here, every time I come here, I'm inspired and I'm uplifted by their beautiful spirits and by all the incredible art here. So yes, just has been such a gift. Thank you. Well, we're definitely going to miss seeing you so often. We're definitely staying in touch. Just to reiterate, Molly will remain part of the gallery. I'm breaking my own rule. It's my gallery, so I get to do that. Um, she's going to ship us a box of paintings, and I'm going to spread them all over and let you know all about it. So um, we're looking forward to that. Thank you so much, Molly, for being here with me today. All right, great. It's been wonderful. Thank you. So guys, um, in closing, I just want to remind you that the virus is still running around out there. And so um, please wear your mask. Masks are really worn for other people, not so much for yourself. And so um, let's all care a lot about one another and keep that mask on. And when you come to the gallery, um, we're letting 12 people in at a time. And so I will wave enthusiastically at your eyeballs because I won't be able to see the rest of your face and from six feet away. But please know that I can't wait to see you and um, you take care of yourself and we'll talk again soon. Okay, bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. <laughs>